morning guys. Just on my way to the training field, give the dogs a run, um, do some training with Joey and uh, let Yogi and Pepsi have a wander about. Uh, Rome's away uh, on a little holiday to Nanny and Grandad's. Um, we just finished our stage two uh, puppy uh, preschool. Um, that's our uh, follow-up from the uh, obviously stage one. And uh, in the stage two, we had uh, a family, mother and father and their young daughter, uh, very young, nine years old. And um, she did quite a bit of the training and uh, she's got a fantastic bond with her dog that she trains, her little Cooper, little Yorkshire Terrier. And it got me thinking a little bit about the child and dog interaction and uh, their relationships and things like that. And one of the things that we try to promote is obviously safety around dogs. And in order to achieve that, we obviously need to teach the dog, but we need to teach the child as well. Uh, so this particular child, Elise, she um, is very good with the dog. Um, I'm going to show you some videos and some pictures and stuff like that. Um, but also the dog's very good with Elise, uh, which is the, the main important thing. Uh, so that Cooper doesn't get himself into trouble by nipping her. But also she respects him enough that she treats him like a dog. She, you know, he's not a toy uh, to be messed around with and things like that. And she has the same relationship with the dog as her mum and dad do with the dog. And it's very important to have a child have the same relationship as an adult does. The dog needs to see the child exactly the same way um, as they would see an adult. And if you have that, then you're gonna, not going to have any conflict between the child and the dog. Because the rules are exactly the same, the relationship is exactly the same, and how they interact with each other is exactly the same. So it's education on both sides um, of training the dog to do as they're asked or don't do as they're asked, um, but also train the child to do as they're asked or not do as they're asked. And you know, we all know pulling tails, sitting on dogs, uh, things like that uh, have a negative uh, impact on the relationship between the dog and the child. So um, I hope you enjoy this little video. As I said, just a few little clips of um, uh, young Elise, who's a fantastic handler. She's really, really good. I was very impressed. Future dog handler. I might have to watch out, watch out for her when she's old enough. I might have to employ her, I think. Um, yeah, very, very good. Uh, she listens to everything you tell her to do. If she's doing something wrong, you tell her that. She does it. Um, and it's, perfect. it's a perfect example of how um, her parents have brought her up to respect the dog and this is this is how everybody should be Nice, good work, well done Elise. Good, that's it, can you carry on? So I want you to give him the on the mat commands and things like that, try and get a down from him as well. Now try and send him to the mat, chuck a treat, see what happens. Make sure he sees you do it. And now that's it. Try and get him to lay down or sit, one of the two. That's it. Good. Okay, when you're ready.
Awesome work. Nice. Well.